we're going to have some lovely music on the show today. And with me now is violinist uh, Mr. Donald Best. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Daybreak. It's about time you're here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell us, uh, you play the violin. How long have you been playing the violin? I've been playing for about five years, mm -hmm. give or take. Wow. Um, yeah. And five years, and you've reached so far, you've been performing all over the place. We've seen you in many concerts. Tell us about some of those concerts. Um, well, my first official big concert was at um, Barris Hammond Night of Love mm -hmm. last year. And um, after that, it was December to Remember with Busy Signal. And um, I've been doing performances in Spice Basket for the past year or two years or so however mm -hmm. long it started right yeah. and you also have a voice talent i know yeah. sometimes we hear you singing <laughs> so you sing as well as play the violin yeah i've been singing since i could remember mm -hmm. i started off in church and um yeah it's just been a part of me violin is more recent mm -hmm. it's been like five years right. so yeah so you're very you're very keen into music how far you want to take this music <laughs> Actually, music is going to be my career because um, I just applied to Berkeley College of Music and I was accepted. So nice. I'm looking to further that. I think you need to repeat that <laughs> <laughs> because that is definitely major. We're going to have a Grenadian representing in Berkeley. So, I mean, congratulations on thank that, you, Donnell. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so where do you see yourself in the future? You know, how, how mm. big do you want to explode? <laughs> I mean, I want to get as big as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to work hard towards it. Um, but I mean, I can't say yet because, I mean, I'm just, just starting, mm -hmm. you know. And I how just, soon are you going to start school? Probably in fall. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it could be in spring as well, but probably in fall. It okay. depends on when I decide to start. Nice, nice. Yeah. And what else are you doing on the side in the meantime? I'm hearing things about lessons, giving violin <laughs> classes, oh, well, whatever I, you're hustling. <laughs> No, it's it's actually, we have a violin school. It's called Island Violins in San Susi. Um, mm -hmm. And Elizabeth Wolf is the director. I am now her assistant. I started off as a student, but um, now I'm the assistant mm -hmm. to her. But we have about mm, at least 30 students um, who are ongoing every day. Mm -hmm. um, so it's actually my job, besides the other things I do to the side, but that's my main job. Mm -hmm. um, and this year, which was yesterday, we had um, the Associated Boards of the Royal School of Music exam, which is an exam we do every year to mm -hmm. ensure that the kids get better. Um, and 25 of these 30 or so kids um, sat the exam. And I would be sitting mine this evening. So nice. <laughs> it's kind of... Is know. it nerve-wracking? I'm... It is nerve-wracking to some extent, but I think I can pull it off. But okay. I don't. I kind of want to get a distinction. So right, right. I, so you've been putting in a lot of work, I'm imagining. I didn't put in as much work as I should because of Berkeley. So mm -hmm. I've been focusing on Berkeley for the past like, six months. Yeah. So um, I've only had like a month to really prepare for this mm -hmm. exam. What was that audition like going into Berkeley? <laughs> Well, the uh, the first thing that concerned me was the fact that it was really cold. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm from the Caribbean, so, I mean, I couldn't feel my fingers a lot of times. And I mm -hmm. need my fingers because that's what I'm playing with. Right. So half of the time I have to focus on just being able to feel my fingers. Right. Um, but once I got into the room, um, one of the, the auditioners cracked a joke and that was it. It was just okay. fun from there. Nice. I mean, I had a feeling that... I got in, but I wasn't sure. You know, you can never be too sure. Mm. So I was, but you know, it wow. worked out well in the end. And I'm sure that's a very competitive audition. So we, I'm sure the whole of Grenada is behind you 100% now. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is quite competitive because I mean, Berkeley is one of the top three schools in the US. Well, Berkeley is a contemporary school. It's not just classical. It mm -hmm. focuses on the bigger world. So um, yeah, I think researching, they said that there will, at least 4,000 applicants. So I kind of feel good to yeah. get in, you good, know? Good, definitely. With the audition, did you also have music accompanying you? The, um, well, there are different aspects to the audition. There mm -hmm. was one section where I had to do a prepared piece, which mm -hmm. is a piece you have to blow them away with. Um, it is a huge part of getting in. Mm -hmm. um, but then there were also sections where um, the band, they would have a band, whether it's a pianist or a bass player or someone, 
who would play random um, melodies for you and you have to improv to it. Wow. Just any key, change the key any time, that kind mm. of thing, different rhythms and stuff. Mm. They'd play something you played back, that kind of thing. There was also a section where, um, where they would actually take you in with someone else and ask you, why do you want to come to Berkeley? What makes you so special mm -hmm. that we should take you? What do you have that nobody else has? Mm -hmm. um, why do you want to do a career in music? What would you want to do after um, Berkeley? How do you see like a life after that? Um, just questions to, to make sure that you really want to get on this path, you know? Mm -hmm. There was also a, sec a section about um, where they would give you random notes to read. You have like 15 minutes to look through a book of like 20 pages of random music and then they're gonna just pick one. Wow. And you have one chance to read through it and that's mm. it. So wow. it, it was a different set of um, stuff, but it's all just to give an overall view of what you can do as a musician. Nice, nice. And what level are you at in music right now? You said you have an exam going well, up today, so <laughs> tell us what grade you're at. I'm doing grade five mm -hmm. and there's only eight grades. Um, I haven't done all the grades every year. I think I skipped a few mm -hmm. um, because I've only been playing for five years. So. Right. Um, so yeah, I'm doing grade five right now. It's a bit of a challenge. It's demanding more than I had to do in the previous grades, mm -hmm. but I think I I would do well. Yeah, I hope I do as well as I want. <laughs> you know? Of course, and hard work always pays off. Of course, we're getting a little taste of Donald Best on the violin right now. So if we get the DJ to run the music, it's time for Donnell. <laughs> Thank you. 
congratulations, Donnell. You, you just uh, got into Daybreak Grenada College of Music. <laughs> 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 but thank you so much for coming, and we want to wish you all the best in your thank endeavors, you. okay? Thank you. All right. And uh, I know you have a little event coming up. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so right now it's in the planning, but I'm going to be having a series of fundraising events for, um, call for Berkeley because it's quite expensive. But um, right now, all I can say is that the event will be held at Spice Basket. So I would keep you guys posted when okay. I have all the details and hopefully Grenada would support me. Of course, of course. All right, thank you once again. Thank and you. of course, all the best. And we look forward for that fundraising event. <laughs>